Well, today I wanted to give you guys a review of my Laguna 16 HD bandsaw. I've got a couple different questions uh, via email of what tools I'm using to build guitars and, and why I've got my shop set up the way I do. Essentially, the Laguna is the centerpiece of my shop. I do all my resawing, all the billets that I get, I resaw off this saw. This is my sixth bandsaw that I've had in the last 10 years. I've upgraded over the years. I've still got a smaller bandsaw that I run downstairs that has a smaller 3 8 blade to do the curves. But this is definitely for all my resawing and you know larger jobs when I'm cutting down billets and stuff when I get uh, raw wood. I really like the saw. I'll show you some of the features here that are really great. The, um, the guide blocks are really as good as they say they are. Uh, you know, the results that you see in the videos that Torben does, I get some of those same results. I can cut really small veneer with this saw and have no problems using it. The height of the fence is great. So I can go up to 16 inches here. And when I do that, I built a bigger fence out of laminated wood. That way if I'm cutting off a guitar back or whatnot, I can get this as close as possible and I've got this wax so this slides on through so you can run the bigger blades. Uh, you do get some sparking sometimes off the ceramic but I haven't really had that much problem. You know the table tilts nicely. It's a five horsepower Balder motor which is great. You know one of the complaints that I, I've gotten with the saw and, and that I've seen is that the dust collection is very poor which is true. But I've made some modifications to the saw so that way I don't have some of those same uh, dust collection issues. And essentially what I've done is I've blocked off and I've taped up some of the ports here on the bottom. So what I've done here is I've taken a piece of cardboard and I've duct taped up some of the openings. That way when I have this closed, and I've even got uh, a piece uh, of uh, cardboard that I put right here. What happens is as the saw blade moves down, the dust collection port is in the back of the saw, which a lot of people complain about. But honestly, when I've got the saw going down, and if you've got a strong enough dust collector, don't really get a whole lot of sawdust floating around once I've got it set up this way. So what happens is I get all the air from the machine, uh, from the dust collector going through here, and it goes out through the back. I really don't get any dust coming through and it's a lot better than if you just leave this all open. So what happens is the you create like a, a, a tunnel going through the saw and all the dust lines up down here on the port. And I, I've got a pretty clean saw when I run it that way. You know, obviously I don't always run the dust collector if I'm making one quick cut. Um, but if I'm doing my resawing or whatever, uh, I get a lot of good results. Uh, in terms of bandsaw blades, I've used a ton of different blades, and I, I usually go with a, a custom blade. Uh, one point of caution is I tried to run some custom blades here. These were the .23 thick blades with uh, uh, an inch size, and that's the wrong size. The blade's not stiff enough. I get some skipping with this blade size when I run, uh, when I try to resaw bigger pieces of wood. So I'm just using these right now uh, to go through them with some, you know, basic cuts and whatnot. You know, the brake is a great feature. The the power, the fence, everything is really top notch on this saw. Uh, um, you know, my only complaint, like I said before, was when the dust collection was really poor. But now that I've set up those little blocks, you know, I really enjoy using the saw. Uh, I really enjoy the guides. You know, I've had a Rikon 18 before this. The only thing that I'm missing off the Rikon 18 was the 18 inches uh, from table to blade. And that's something that was I was using for my guitars. Uh, but overall, I really enjoy using the saw. I get some of the same results that uh, you see in the videos that they run. You know, obviously the saw costs you know a small fortune, uh, but for me, I'll be using the saw for the next you know probably 10, 15 years still and I, I'll get some great results with it. So this is my Laguna 16 bandsaw. You know, once you make some of the 
changes on the dust collection. The saw works great.